Welcome back to Let's Play Death Spank, Thongs of Virtue. I'm Burning Dog Face, and we're here in uh, this orcish POW camp, where Death Spank is cobbling together an escape plan with help from his fellow inmates. That's not the right one. Oh, hey, blocking. Okay, then. So I guess I do have to bring up the inventory and then scroll over here rather than doing that. Maybe it gets what Q does up at the top. Find some paper to write on. I need some paper to forge my fake orc ID. Find an item to write with. Find an item to use as ink. And then do the thing. Learn the secret password. Oh, yes. Uh, glo or gloves, boots, shoulder pads, vest, and he helmet in order to do this. The downtrodden POWs in the camp stage right across the bridge and get out of this camp. Prosperity and potential book deals are probably awaiting me on the other side. Excuse me? Yeah, you get to be dead now. That was weird. There was a moment of lag there. Interrogator Chicken. And they're wearing coolie hats for some insane reason. Really? Now you're fried, chicken. Oh, that was also a, uh, a justice weapon. Oops. Speaking of fried chicken... And now I'll do this right over your corpse. Subtlety, thy name is Deathbank. I have to put these into two piles so I remember which ones are oh god. Oh good, it didn't let it doesn't let me waste it. area is not on the world map. So I guess this whole thing must be the uh, POW camp. I do really enjoy that this just happens to be the day that Death Spank decided to uh, get off his ass and start fighting. Oh no! I thought that would kill him. Thank you for instant heal healing potions. Yes, there are two kinds of healing items in this game. One works instantly, the other one works over time. Guess which one is more plentiful. There's a thing I wanted to address, you guys. Uh, I felt like I should probably do that early on in order to... What's the phrase? Properly calibrate expectations? Uh, okay. The first Death Spank game came out on July 13th, 2010. Death Spank Thongs of Virtue came out on September 21st, 2010. Without getting into any judgy comments, I'm just going to say that uh, that's why I used the word continuation instead of the word sequel when I did my intro. At least I meant to. Slightly doubting myself. In fact, Well, yes, I said continuation and not sequel. But, uh, it seems that this game can become unstable when I alt-tab, and that's not cool. I'll have to kill all these guys again, I guess. Ugh. I consider doing my whole usual thing about showing what happens when you load, but... Feels weird doing that in the second episode, except the second session. Okay, I should 
probably only have one of those equipped at a time. That's getting confusing. Nice headbutt. To the best of my knowledge, there isn't actually a run button in this game. But yeah, I was very particular about that, because, uh... I feel like rather than just building on, you know, the framework of the original game and, uh, well, frankly, having time to uh, put a bunch of improvements in or listen to fan feedback, this is basically just more Death Spank, and there's nothing wrong with that. It's just weird that they, you know, presented them as Death Spank and then Death Spank subtitle instead of, you know, Death Spank Part 1, whatever subtitle, and then Death Spank Part 2, Thongs of Virtue. There's an interview somewhere with Ron Gilbert where he... Hmm, that might be a bit much for me to, you know, take on. Where he describes the story of Death Spank. He describes Death Spank as basically being Act 1 of a three-act story, and Thongs of Virtue as being Acts 2 and 3. Which is very weird, incidentally, because there is a third Death Spank game, even though for some reason it doesn't have the guy's name in the title. It's called The Baconing, and it came out almost a year after this one. Ow, ow! Oh god! Fuck off! Stop it, stop it, stop it! Oh! It must have. That guy must have eaten an orc! <laughs> orc uniform helmet gives me the horrid rough looks of an orc. Orc uniform vest. It's hard to wear a vest, but I make it work. It's hard to wear. Never mind. Uh, shoulder pads. Pads? I knew orcs couldn't be all that buff. Couldn't all be that buff. Huh. Yoink! Oh, of course, they eat the laundry. Duh. That's the joke they're dropping those because they eat the laundry. Sorry, I got kind of distracted when the uh, game froze up. I did restart my timer, didn't I? Yes, good! That outhouse desperately wants my attention. Oh, well, you done fucked up, haven't you? Okay, then. Why aren't they unlocking? I remember that. The, uh, the outhouses were a fast travel system. Love the smell of fear and regret. These orcs sure know how to make a good boot. Oh, there it is. Hero's heroic trinket, imbued with the limitless potential of an infant. Hmm. I did find another one before, but I guess that didn't save. Lame! What's what this cost of this disguise looks like? I have to wait a second before I can auto-equip another thing with the X button. Interesting. I kind of notice I don't look a goddamn thing like an orc, but, you know. Let's keep that for a surprise. I mean, this is the thing. No POWs! Your wife just went into labor. Go to her. I haven't seen my wife in two years. I, uh, <laughs> this is awkward. Now stand back or I hurt you. 
Now, let's not be hasty. I just want to... Bounce! Fine, I'm going! Happy? I think that actually did damage. I thought I need to use that. Oh, no. The latrine. Death to you! I'm sorry? Lock onto something, don't just shoot the plants. Uh, uh. Ron Gilbert previously worked on uh, Miniac Mansion, so I'm wondering if the green and purple tentacles are a reference. You might be more familiar with the sequel to Maniac Mansion, Day of the Tentacle, which again was still back in the 90s. Ooh. Cavalry Sword of Carving. Works both on and off mounts. Levels 3 to 8. Okay, fair enough. And I have leveled up no times, I believe. Level 1, Greatest Escaper. Let's check out the horrors of the latrine and then go get past that guy. My ear is on. I hate this detail. Tell me about it. Ugh. Oh, no. You don't explode when you die, do you? Is that what suck? Oh, they do. That's amazing. Okay, I need to find a better gun. I am not going to kill those guys with chip damage. Especially since one of them is so big, I could see him over the hill. Wait a minute, don't squid tentacles have those, like, hand... Not hand, but those, like, big diamond-shaped bits at the end, as opposed to octopus tentacles, which look like that? Okay, here we go. What? And collected some loins of now extinct jungle squid. Oh! Oops. Oops. <laughs> My bad. You guys kept my shoulders warm. Now I will keep you safe. Halt! Who goes there? I am totally an orc like yourself. See my uniform? You ugliest orc I ever seen. You sound like my mom. Show me your identification papers. You don't need to see my identification. Show ID or you see stars. Now, now, violence isn't the answer. No, violence is question. Yes, please is answer. Out! <laughs> I said that recently, didn't I? Violence isn't the question, violence is the answer. Oh, that's right, I was describing Fury from Darksiders. Alright, that's right. Uh, huh. Well, I got that. I need to find paper. The password. Uh, oops. No, I can't just push Q, but I'm not sure if that's because, again, I'm not using keyboard and mouse controls or not. Ah. Back when I was looking into the first game, very interesting tidbits to tell you during that Let's Play, I remember reading somewhere, Death Spank, also known as Death Spank, Orphans of Justice, or Orphans of Destiny, or something. Which is interesting, because I've never once heard it referred to that way. 
Maybe it's like the Star Wars thing, where they changed their minds afterwards and didn't like that the first one was just the name of the franchise. Mind you, then they didn't even use Death Spank in the name of the third one, so what do I know? Oh, he's level four. Ah, oh, get away from them! Chicken! Stop making farting noises, you fuckers! Oh, they're not exploding, they're just shooting things at me. That's what I must have confused those two things earlier. Oh, good, he's a summoner, too. Oh, my legs. Immune? Well, then, in that case... I fought all the things I could find, and didn't find any better guns or uh, a way in here, so... Uh, I got unpoisoned real quick, that was interesting. Aha! Leveling up strengthens my abilities, and gives me a new hero card! Do it early, do it often! I can agree with that. Now you're level two, Chaser of Devils. Devils flee from Death Spank from here to heck and back again. Health, damage, and blocking time have increased. We can also get one of these bonuses. Sandy's Spirit. You, Sandy's Sprint. You move 5% faster. You Brick's Armor Lesson. You can use armor one level higher. Or Darkly's Minor Blocking. Your block lasts 10% longer. Let's go with a movement speed increase. Hell yeah. Thank you, Sandy. I think of that same. Oh no. Huh? What's the matter? I can't go! I ate too much gnome! Say something to help me relax! Well, our password is pretty relaxing. It's. and the mighty orc barks back! <sighs> I wasn't even standing over on, under those things, and I still feel like I need to take a shower. As long as I was standing down here. But at least I don't have the open-toed boots anymore. <laughs> Third time's the charm. Show me your identification papers. Oh. Oh! I have both the things that I don't know how to do that. I seem to are going to have... My other <laughs> Sorry, you're going to have to shoot me. other pants are free to pass, but you must leave. Well, at least he didn't fucking shoot me this time. All right. Uh... Move and combine. There we go. That's a toilet paper, a roll of standard issue, orc trooper, toilet paper, use of care. Squid ink and the... Uh, Dumping ink on this paper would be unwise. Wait. Oh, right! I need something to write with. Control. Oh, no. Uh. Why does that guy want to talk to me? Well, hopefully, we can find a way out of this dilemma in the next uh, episode. Oh, you're back. Die. Death! Death to all! Ow, 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 ow. What? Sorry, I thought I just had a status ailment or something. Why were they invisible? 
these jungle beasts are full of goddamn surprises. And lead. Although I don't think bullets have been made of lead since before the 20th century, so... Hey! I activated the, uh, the thing this time. Nice. Oh, and these have respawned. That's not bad. Maybe it's out of order because you can't use them manually yet. You know, you can't, like, fast travel because you're a prisoner. But we'll talk to that guy on the next episode of Let's Play Death Spank, Thongs of Virtue, when we continue with our quest, hopefully with uh, less crashing. Or less freezing, anyway. Let's have less of both. Let's agree to compromise. <laughs> Later.